Howdy, friends. I hope you are doing well. I was in a meeting this week, and I had some people ask me about mind maps, and I love mind maps. My brain works good this way, and and with my uh, sermon prep uh, process that I have now, it all happens in the mind map. I, I go outside of the mind map uh, for my you know fancy pants uh, Bible software, and, and, and I do use that, and, and I, it's easy for me to get, grab graphics out of here and put them back in my mind map and stuff, you know? So, um, but this is how I do it. Now, this is Mind Master. I'll put a link in this post. Um, and it's, and I, I love it. I was using, I've used others as well. This one does, it's very fast and it's very neat and you can do a lot with it. And so here's some things you can do with it. So when you sit down and you begin something, you just start with a square in the middle and I start to brainstorm. Actually, I wonder if I can open up a new one here just real quick and I'll show you how it gets started. So this is a blank mind map and, and you can say, I'll say uh, howdy friends right here. We'll just do like this, do, 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 howdy. All right, and now that's the center. And I always change it because I, in church, uh, my projector isn't as powerful as my screen is big. And so I make it really easy to see on the screen. So I like a black background with the white around it. And then, uh, and then I start brainstorming what, you know, uh, you know, point, uh, you know, or maybe it'll be intro vid. Okay. And then I'll be, you know, point one, uh, point uh, two. And with mind maps, you typically go in a clockwise motion is how you read them. Um, and so for some reason, it doesn't do that automatically. Uh, and so you've got to drag stuff around. But you can move your points around super easy. I can move this up here and, and I can go over here and I can change this so that it'll align it for me automatically so I can move my points around and things. And, and so when I start brainstorming for my message, this is where I start and I can move things around and then I start plugging in the information. Let's go back to the other one now. Um, so now we're back to a finished one again. Uh, another great thing about this, this is better than the other one that I did, is that I have uh, everything as a QR code. So when I'm preaching, and the, uh, and I put this up on the screen behind me. We're in the movie theater there. The folks can reach up and they can take a shot of this QR code and this exact living document uh, mind map will come up on their phone. And I just do that down here in the sharing settings. I can mark it to public and then boom, we're live. And now my people have access to all of the notes that I had, all the Bible verses, uh, everything. Sometimes I'll... I'll have thing. I won't go very deep into it, but I'll just put the information in the mind map, and I won't even talk about it um, because you know maybe not everybody is is interested. Okay, and so in this particular one, I did a, a video to intro. Oops, what I just did there, I didn't want to do. So Control Z. Uh, this is a video, and I can load the video right in there, and uh, it's a nice little video. Um, and it's about being lonely and stuff, and and that's what we're talking about in hard times and. Oops, I moved him around. We'll put him back again. Um, but so I, I build my entire thing. I, you can you can add images, you can add videos, you can add um, you know you can search for images right in this um, you know. And these images are from my Bible software, and I dump them in. And but then when it comes time, and now I want to present. So I, I started off brainstorming in this program and just putting in whatever I wanted, moving it around. Well, now it's time that I want to. Uh, um, you know, I got to get this ready to put it on the screen. And, and that is, is actually really, I, all I do is click this presenter thing down here. And then all I do is I just, I wonder if I can find one I can do this once without screwing the stuff up. Here, let's, let, let's delete, uh, let, let's delete this whole branch here. Well, so we're going to delete 15 and, and you see how it automatically updates. I don't have to move anything else around. But then if I click on 14 and I want to say I want to, I can choose how many bubbles I want to show at a time and look how fast it is. I just press control, grab them, boom, it's done. Now that'll be one click and one slide. And then when it comes, so I got, so here, so now we're looking at all the slides. And so as my people, they can have it on their phone, but they're watching it on the screen. I'm moving from point to point to point. Um, I don't like the slideshow that is built in. Um, I can do the slideshow right here, but that's clumsy. That's really hard to do when I'm in front of people. 
Um, and so I don't use that. What I do is I dump it uh, into uh, PowerPoint. And that's, it, it takes like two minutes. You just export it right here uh, and you, you download the pictures and then you just drag them into uh, into PowerPoint and it's and I can drag them in all at once and it's so fast and they stay in order um, but remember I said that this is a living document so now it's the next week I preached this um, actually two weeks ago uh, but I, I but look at what I can do I, I can not oops if you double click it opens up but I'll, I'm gonna create a new thought and I'm going to be a Sunday's video I don't, maybe there's a better name for that. Uh, but then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click the video, and watch this. I've already got it in my clipboard because I went and got it from, from uh, Facebook. I'm going to post that in there, and the you selected video, it's going to pull it in. Uh, let's make this small so I, I, I kind of like to have the video kind of up and, and out of the way. Whoop, whoops, that wasn't what I wanted. Yeah, there it is. So now, so now... I've got illustration videos that I use during church as an intro. And now here this is the actual message of me. Now we had some you know, technical problems this Sunday, so the like picture's not quite as good. DUI, that's the icy hand of fear, okay? D um, if, uh, you know, when, when you're scared like something happened to a either. loved one, that, that's an icy Anyway, uh, we had some technical issues. But anyway, but there's the video. And so now in this document, oh, and there's... Um, one other thing I'm going to start doing that I haven't actually done yet, um, but I'm going to start attaching the article right there. Uh, and uh, I wonder if my article's done. Let's look at this. So here's the art, the corresponding article uh, on our web page uh, for this message. So you know, this is just a graphic, but this is the video that we just put in there. Um, but look at this. I can I, I can grab this, copy it, go over here, never stand alone, and I can click on this on this center thing and I can do a number of things. I can attach uh, a, a link uh, in there. I can, you know, do all, all kind of, any way that I want to. Um, now I could write notes in here, but I, I don't do that. But here, I wanna put a screenshot of my article on my webpage because when I build these and it's all included in the membership, they make my own webpage for me with all of my mind maps and those are searchable. I've been getting hits on my mind maps who have never heard of me before because I apparently fit some kind of parameter they're looking at. But I kinda of would like them to go to my webpage and have access right back to my webpage again. So I got my article selected. I'm going to go over here to picture. I'm going to add image. I'm going to upload a new image. I'm going to go to my downloads folder because that's where, and I'm going to never stand screenshot. It's going to upload it. This is, I didn't even pause it right now. This is real, real time. That's a little bit huge. So I'm going to make him smaller. And then I'm going to go over to this little arrow. And that is the URL. Control V, never stand alone. Enter. Now, when anybody comes on this page they go down here and they're going to click they're going to click that little guy and it's going to bring up my article never stand alone with the video and all that stuff and our invitations to church and all of that now this might be too geeky and this next part might not even be a good idea but it's so cool it's awfully hard to resist i'm going to go down here to share and i'm going to go to uh i think it's share settings and it's actually it's not it was under uh it was under uh, publishing settings under publishing settings i'm going to embed the map watch this now here it gives me some i could play with that if i wanted to uh control all control c close I'll go back to my web page now so i just drop my code in there i update my map and now look at what's wait okay no i have to do it now uh we're going to update and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to view the post. I'm going to do an incognito because some of my widgets don't work when I'm logged in as an admin. Now I'm in the article. I got my picture. I got my video. I got my Bible verses. And then I got my, hey, click and become my friend. But look at this cool thing. There's the mind map. And if I click, uh, if I click on it, I got 15 views. And I don't, I mean, that's... That's not people from church, I don't think. And I can I can go through the slideshow, and I think I can even if I go like this, I think it'll bring me right to Mind Miser. And now 
I can, if I have an account, I can copy it over and I can, I can do all, you know, I can't change things, uh, you know, so that's good. So anyways, it's, um, I just love, I just love my, my mind map. And it's just, it's helped me so, uh, so much to go from the brainstorming all the way through to something that will last forever that has an article, it has a video, it has video, it has video illustrations. It's all, it's all right there. And it's all people, it's another way to people find the church. And, and uh, I know if I was, uh, I just love mind maps. Anyway, wanted to show that to you. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate you. Bye.